it. It is time to get the body moving, the heart pumping. This portion of the video is sponsored and approved by Nintendo. So I wanna show you guys this game. This is Nintendo's Ring Fit Adventure. This game is so freaking fun. My brother is the first person who showed me this game. We played it at his house and we were sweating by the end of it. It's such a fun way to get active. So in this game, you explore this fantastical world. It's like an adventure pretty much. And you conquer enemies, but you use your real life body to move in the game. It comes with a couple of accessories that you need. First up, this is the ring con. You push inward, you push outward. This helps you move in the game along with this leg accessory. You just strap it to your left leg and then it helps you move around in the game. So I'm all strapped in. I've got my leg accessory, the ring con. So there are two modes you can play the game. There is adventure mode and then there's quick play mode. It really depends on your mood and what you're feeling. But right now I wanna show you guys the adventure mode because I just wanna get lost in the sauce and dive into the fantasy. So let's start. That's me. Alright, getting some momentum. So that was just a little taste of what this game is like. This is just the perfect way to get everyone a little bit active, but in a fun, novel way. I'm about to play another level, but thank you to Nintendo for sponsoring and approving that portion of the video. All right, guys, it's time to do a serious catch up because as you can see, Ben and I have moved. It's been officially one week and one day since we've been living at our new house and this has been the fastest week of my life. I can't believe I'm here. The moving process was quite chaotic. I'm using this skin serum tint by Ilya. And I really like it so far because it also has SPF 40 in it and hyaluronic acid. So the moisture and the protection. But anywho, it was quite the process to move out because I didn't realize the amount of things that I've managed to accumulate. But this is why we decided to do a soft move. And a soft move is essentially a pre-move. It's like you collect all your delicates and your fragile items and you just like move it to the house, like maybe a couple days before. So we are so incredibly lucky to have our family help us out. Oh, my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister-in-law. We moved all of our kitchen belongings and just like our fragile things. And just having that set up already in the house made all the difference. And plus they were able to finally see the house for the first time. So that in itself was just like a beautiful moment. Our actual moving day was surprisingly very smooth, but emotional. So that morning I made sure to get up really early because I wanted to make sure that I did my morning routine, which is just like my meditation and my future self journaling. I feel like those are two non-negotiables when I have a really frantic day because it really, really does center me and it only takes 15 minutes out of my morning. We use the exact same moving company as we did last time, which is North Star. They were incredible. We had a really good experience with them last time. They didn't break anything. Thing, super professional, very, very efficient. They had six dudes to break down the furniture, wrap the furniture, take all the clothes out of my closet. It was just so weird and disorienting to see our home just completely empty of our furniture. It's just the end of a beautiful era and Ben managed to get a couple clips. It was just very, very bittersweet to move. Our first meal to like break in the house was Japanese food, which was freaking bomb. I thought that not having sushi would be a problem for me now that I am priggers. But you know what? Those California rolls really be hidden. But yeah, the past week, Ben and I have just been unpacking and organizing and just setting up all the utilities. Like I tried to vlog some clips and uh, I feel like this is a proper representation of what our week was like. You can count on us to keep you connected when it matters most. <laughs> As 
you can see, this has been our life for the past 24 hours. It's incredible. We are not wasting any time to settle in. And I feel like one of the quickest ways for a home to really feel like a home is to add a bit of artwork, a little razzle dazzle on the walls. I guess that brings us up to speed to this moment. There is still so many things that we got to do around the house to really make it feel like our home. We're waiting on a ton of furniture that is, you know, taking several months to be made and shipped. Obviously with the pandemic, things are just getting delayed, which is totally understandable. But I am just excited to like make this house feel like our home. But anyway, I'm getting ready to go to my doctor's appointment. I am 19 weeks pregnant today. So I'm super, super stoked for the ultrasound today. Um, it's just gonna be with the radiologist or the technician who just does the, the scans. So it's just gonna be like a little, it's not like a photo shoot, but they just like make sure that all the organs of the babies are developing and I'm not seeing my OB. That is for next week. Right, to see the baby. Oh my god, oh my god. Aww. The profile is really popping right like now. They've been fed well as well, you know? Definitely, <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. These ultrasounds are my favorite because it makes everything more real. I feel like I always well up in there. It's such a shame I can't uh, experience that because I'd be the same. I know. We'd probably just make each other cry even more, so maybe it's a good thing. <laughs> Some of the photos are very strange though. It's like almost like a. Rocher, like those those ink blot tests. Wow. Where like, what do you see here? What's the first thing that you see? What do you see here? I don't see a baby. Can I see a paw print maybe? So those are little grenades. No, <laughs> oh, so that's what's on your mind, huh? <laughs> So I would say that the first part of the house that I organized was the kitchen. It was the first thing that was done. And honestly, this is my dream kitchen. Everything has a home. Everything has its right place. When we first moved in, I was so overwhelmed on where to put everything. So of course I Googled how to organize your kitchen and I got so many results. I don't know, I don't understand why I didn't do this sooner. We've got all the cups in one place. I put our wine glasses all the way up to the top because you know we're not drinking wine every single day. And then I put some taller glasses for when the guests wanna come. And then I just put my most used cups down here. And then in this cupboard over here, we've got all our spices. We've got these little Lazy Susans. These are like the greatest hits of the spices that we use on a daily basis. And then over here, we've got stuff that's a little bit larger, um, stuff that we don't use all the time. And then up on this shelf, we've got all the baking supplies. Obviously, I don't bake too much but I thought it would make sense up there. And then in this left drawer, we put all the oils that Ben always uses. This is like Ben's little corner because he's left-handed, so he can just grab and go. And then on the right side, we've got all my Asian sauces. We've got two different types of soy sauce, you know, sesame seeds, all that goodness and jazz. So over here, we've got all our plates and bowls. Obviously, we wanted to display the, the prettiest ones that we had. These three styles are ones that we use on a weekly basis, but your girl also put our everyday plates down here. So that's just a little sneak peek on how I organized the kitchen. I think I wanna do like a full blown video all about the kitchen. So you can see how I store my pans, my teas, my mugs, the everything drawer, all of that. I am very serious about this. I feel like my full Virgo-ness is shining. comforting bowl of Tuanjang Jjigae. Yes, I feel like it wouldn't be a daily vlog without this soup. Mm. So one common question that I get all the time is, how come you and Ben never eat together? If I had to quantify, I would say we probably eat maybe like five meals together in the week. 
which isn't like terrible, but I don't know. I, I feel like Ben and I just have different cravings, uh, different diet preferences. I would say my diet is 70% Korean food. Like this is, I live and breathe this. If you didn't grow up eating this, I would imagine it's hard to eat this every day as well with me. Ben craves different foods. He has his uh, pastas, his pizzas, his sandwiches. And as much as I love all that food, I don't crave that every single day. Like this is my jam. But yeah, we definitely carve out time where we do have meals together, especially if we find a recipe that we really like. Or sometimes he'll be cooking something and I'll be like, that looks really good. Let me have some of that. And vice versa. Sometimes when I'm cooking a Japanese curry, he's like, ooh, let me have some of that. So it all really depends. But like, tinja jjigae is not Ben's jam. I do think that eventually we're going to have to sync our eating schedules, especially when our kid comes into the picture and we're having like family dinner times. So yeah, I think we're gonna streamline what our meals are gonna be together just so we can like plan out the week, but we'll see. I mean like, or maybe we'll just cook the kid like Korean food and like English slash new American food. It'll be interesting. So today is our final night sleeping in the guest room because our bed is gonna arrive today. I am so, so excited. Obviously, Ben and I have been extremely comfortable in the guest room. It's a little bit of deja vu. It's the exact same setup as our previous home. So there is a bit of familiarity, some comfortability, but yeah, this is gonna be the guest room from now on. And dude, I would be stoked if I stayed here. But this is gonna be great for when Ben's parents come visit, when my parents come stay over. I just washed the sheets yesterday too. Oh, they smell so good. I used a little bit of the Downy Unstoppables beads and it just smells like fresh laundry. So this bed frame is from Rove Concepts and I found these little nightstands from West Elm, I believe, but it's the perfect shade of gray and the inside wood, it matches our sheets perfectly. I love it. It's so satisfying to look at. Oh, she's already made herself comfortable. Oh, she's cozy. So I'm just winding down, curling up with a nice book so I can get ready for bed. But I wanted to share with you guys my most recent read. I am currently reading Quiet, The Power of Introverts by Susan Cain. And honestly, this book is blowing my mind. I'm halfway done with it. And uh, she basically talks about the great qualities of being an introvert because I feel like we live in a society where extroversion is just praised. It's really drilled into us as a society, especially in America. Uh, it's always the loudest person in the room who gets noticed or the loudest person that uh, gets the raise and takes leadership. But the truth is the world wouldn't run without introverts. I think reading this book is making me realize how like split in the middle I am. Like there are some characteristics that she describes as introverts where I just had a highlight. There's this whole section about highly sensitive people, which uh, introverts tend to be, but people with HSB tend to be very sensitive to sounds, lights, uh, overstimulation. And I feel like that is 
so me. I would say I'm really sensitive to sounds, especially like if I'm at a spot where the music's too loud, I literally can't concentrate on everything, on anything. I just get extremely overwhelmed. I don't know what that person is saying. It's like actually kind of embarrassing because even if like I go in a car and the the music's too loud, I actually have to like request for them to turn it down a notch. I feel like the difference between an extrovert and an introvert is it's absolutely on the spectrum. So there are qualities that I both really resonate with, but it is extremely interesting to see more qualities about introversion because I feel like it's not spoken about enough. But yeah, I am pretty tired now. I'm gonna hit the hay soon. Cheeky's already really tired. She's just a little ball. But yeah, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.